I think it's really interesting, given everything that's been happening over the last couple of years, um, to hear about whistleblowing outside of FE and skills, but we can apply it, I think, really quite tightly to, to colleges uh, and across the skill system in Scotland and beyond. So I think talking about whistleblowing seems to be the right time. I think talking about it within colleges and the skill system as to how we can improve those organisations is a really apt time to do it. The lecture, again, at this time when we see, uh, whether it be the, the Me Too movement, whether it be Grenfell Tower, whether it be some of the aid agencies, we can see that there are organisations that are losing sight of what they're here to do, and that's the last thing that colleges and the skill system should do. So for me, I think it's a really uh, meaningful contribution to how we can improve uh, the skill system, again, across the UK. I think the perception on whistleblowing for me had always been um, a one-off, something that happens at the extreme in really difficult situations. I think out of the lecture it became clear that it's part of a much bigger pyramid, if you like, of feedback, of improvement uh, and of honest, uh, uh, I suppose again, improvement of, of services that people can get. So yes, the perception's changed and I can see how it fits in much more with honest feedback and doing the right thing as an organisation. I work with Fettel in the organisation that I work for, IPPR Scotland, so I know um, that the leadership of thinking, and I know that Fettel's concept, is that we should be not just thinking about leadership, but we should be leading thinking, we should be uh, considering the challenges that we face as a skills and an FE system, and most importantly of all, thinking about how we can meet those challenges and lead thinking in that sense towards what we're facing and how we can take advantages of the opportunities and meet the challenges that we face.